All right, I think I'm live, but let's see. Let me switch over to, all right, there we go. There we go, there we go. All right, what's up Elevate Academy? When you jump on, say hello. I'm just gonna double check, make sure that everything's streaming in properly to Elevate Academy. Happy 2021. This is our first live of the year, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm totally losing track of the days. Um, oh no, am I not live? No, I'm not live. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, guys, am I live? Elevate Academy. Okay. Yes, we are. Awesome. Thanks, Christina. So let's kind of dive right in. I'm super excited for this. I just last night kind of tweaked a few things on my 2021 board. I'm going to show you how to make a vision board um, on Canva. So it's digital. I'm going to tell you why I do it that way, because traditionally I used to always do the big poster board and cut things out. And I love that version too, but this has been really practical and super effective. So have you ever made a vision board before? So let me know in the comments below. Have you created a vision board? Is that something that you normally do? Do you have one now? Do you have one that's, um, you know, a physical board? Do you have one that's digital? Do you have both? Ideally, if you've got a, a physical board, you can probably just transfer a lot of stuff into a digital board and you can do so many cool things with it. Oh my gosh. I have closed captions. I'm really stoked about this, but I wanted to show you real quick before I forget. I just, uh, I put mine onto my phone as my screensaver. Can you see it? Isn't that neat? So you can take your vision board and you can literally have it on your desktop. I'm going to show you how you can have it as your screensaver. It's super awesome. So it's just nice to have those, those visuals of what your goals and dreams are for the year. I do have notes because I want to make sure that I give you all the deets. Um, quick announcements. I wanted to let you know, so I got a lot of questions about a post that I put up in this group yesterday announcing that my new course low tech launch is ready to go. And then I got a bunch of questions in my DMS. I'm like, well, I probably need to do some sort of like, a uh, either a live Q and a or a preview or something like that. And I will, but I know there were some of you waiting for that course to be ready before I actually officially launch. So I will do that at the very end of January, but it's available now. And if you're someone who one of the items on maybe your vision board even is to add a mini course or add a course or launch some coaching to add to your existing brand and what you're doing, then this is such a good course for you. So I wanted to let you know that is available. I have a post about it and like the sales, well, it's not even full sales page, but a write-up of what's included. If you don't want to wait, check that out. And then yes, you can let me know if you have questions, but just know I have a Q, uh, Q and a, yeah, FAQ, FAQ is what I was looking for. An FAQ coming up about what is actually in that course, who it's going to be great for, who it's not going to be great for all of those things. But if I've talked to you about it and you already know it is available now and you'll, I wanted to say that because you'll see on my vision board, some things having to do with that. And so I just wanted to let you know that's part of you know what i see for my vision is really helping you'll see on my board um women to add a course or add coaching or consulting depending on their strengths and gifts and skill sets and desires as additional income for their brand alongside network marketing alongside whatever online entrepreneurial thing you got going on okay so i really want to help other people do that because that for me is what doubled my income in 2020 and one of my visions for the year is to i keep saying set up a lemonade stand so whether it's life or business i am really ready and i feel super empowered to help other women to achieve their goals and i really want that to be even more so than it has been in the past i want other women to feel empowered i want other women to achieve their goals and that's very 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 strong in my heart um, going into 2021 vision wise. So just a little, a little inside scoop from me before we get into the technical stuff. This is the year you guys to do what you want to do and be who you want to be. And so when we start talking about our vision and all of that, I want you to really focus on not 
all, not some, but not all like numbers or tangible things, but including who do you want to be? Like, how do you want to show up? What do you want underlying your whole entire year, your business, no matter what happens? Because hello, if we learned one thing in 2020, it's that we could have all these plans. I mean, do you, does anybody remember last year's, what did I call the 2020 Digital Vision Board Workshop, which my board, whew, I'm glad it was digital because I had to change some things. So 2020 taught us that we can make all these plans and we can have all these visions and goals, but sometimes we're going to have to adjust and we're just going to have to like become more resilient, become more flexible, um, you know, turn crap into better things. And, you know, we all know this is true. So I feel like this really resonated with me and I wanted to do this the digital vision board workshop again, but with that in mind that this might change. And that's kind of why it's nice to have it be digital because you can always adjust if a global pandemic or a divorce, or I'm like thinking of my year, good night, 2020 was a doozy. But anyway, I know it's going to be amazing for all of you and it will be if you want it to be because it really is so much to do with our um, our mindset. Circumstances are going to change. They always are, sometimes in big ways, sometimes in small ways, sometimes in good ways, sometimes in bad ways. But the thing that doesn't have to change is your mindset. So I really want you to think about who do I want to be? How do I want to be? And yes, put some goals on there, put some, you know, some large vision things. But if you don't achieve those, the one thing that you will have achieved is being more of yourself and being more of the person that you want to be and developing in that way. And then hello, like you win, you're winning. Um, okay. So wanted to give you a couple statistics um, because making progress towards your goals and towards your vision involves number one, knowing what you want. So hopefully you've had a little time and if you haven't, you know, pause this video, come back to it, thinking about what it is that you want for your year, business-wise, life-wise, health, um, lots of different categories. I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine if you <laughs> show me yours. I do wanna see your boards though. I wanna see your digital boards. In fact, um, I mentioned in my email, there's going to be a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway um, for anyone who has basically commented on this live. So I can see that you are on this live with me. I'm going to do a giveaway of a uh, desk calendar, a you are a badass desk calendar. I had one last year and truth be told, I only, I only got into it like three months and then the pandemic and life and ooh, so I didn't get very far, but it's really awesome. And I, I have since read through the dates, but I have one of those to give away. And then I think I'm going to do a second giveaway for those of you who actually make your digital vision board and are willing to share it in the comments of this video. So if you do your vision board and you come back, I am going to do a giveaway. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be like, I have a couple elevate tumblers. Like, hmm, I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with something good. Because I want you to actually do this. So the other thing, so number one, you have to know what you want and you have to believe that you can achieve it. So we don't want to put something on our board that you're like, oh, never do that. You have to believe you can achieve it. You have to know what you want. Number two, writing it down. Okay. So writing it down or visual, getting it in a visual format, like we're going to do. Um, there, there's this stuff. Oh my gosh. Statistic. If I can speak. Did you know that you're 45% more likely to achieve a goal when you write it down? 45% more likely to achieve a goal when you write it down. This is like super convicting to me. I'm like, duh, like journal, journal, piece of paper, phone notes, like write it down. And then 75% more likely to achieve it if you tell someone. So to my last point on the giveaway, if you, I would consider telling someone publicly sharing in our group of 900 amazing female entrepreneurs, your vision board. I think that would be awesome. I'm going to share mine. I was like, oh, it's so vulnerable, but I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to be sharing it on this screen. So share it, tell people about your goals, put them on there, make it obvious. And then three, visualize yourself achieving those things. So if you can see it, it can and will happen. So writing things, knowing what you want, writing it down, getting it on a visual and then visualizing it. And the nice thing about having a digital vision board that you can put on your your 100 million notifications and clear 
you can put it on your phone as a backdrop. You can put it on your desktop, which is, is what I'm going to show you how to do on your computer. And you can really just keep those things in the forefront of your mind and focus on what it is that you want for your life, who you want to be, what you want to get done, who you want to impact all the things. Okay. So, um, you can do digital vision boards in lots of different ways. I do mine on Canva as I do pretty much like every graphic, anything I have used Canva for probably 10 years now. I used to use it. Um, when I was back in my former career, I was in education the last four years, I was a program coordinator for a school district for their special ed department. And so I had to do a lot of like pre adult educate teacher education, like presentations, staff education, things like that. And so I started using Canva then, and then I've just never stopped. I really love it. So, um, I'm going to show you how to create a screen saver, basically a screen saver, uh, vision board and just kind of talk you through, talk you through mine and just share some ideas. And then what I want you to do is if you feel so inclined, do the same thing with your vision. Okay. So I just want to give you some inspo and a little tech tutorial, show you how I do, how I do things in my process. But as with Anything that I ever teach or say, whether it's here, whether it's in one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's in a course, it's just the way I do it. I'm not saying this is like the gold standard of how to do a digital vision board or a vision board. I'm just telling you what I do. I want you to do what you want to do, what feels in alignment with you, the way that you want to do life, the way that you want to do business. But I want to share things that have been helpful for me in the hopes that it will inspire you or help you, but always make things your own. Always never feel like you have to do anything in like this box because someone else did it that way because everyone's different. We're all unique. And so just keep that in mind. Um, okay. So Canva, let me share my screen. If I can actually, you know what, if you have questions, let me know. Cause I'm going to pull up my phone and make sure that I have, um, hold on real quick. We have 900 members as of today. Oh my gosh. Welcome. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Usually we don't do workshops like this. It's usually more of like a training or a talk, but I did this last year and it was powerful last year, but I felt even more so this year, this would be a great thing to do to start off the year together. Okay. Okay. All right. So keep in mind, if you, I see some comments and things, that's perfect. If you want to enter the giveaway, just keep commenting. I'll, uh, I'll write down everyone who's made a comment. Michaela, I've done a digital in the past, but I haven't done one. Okay, cool. Physical boards. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So here, tell me this as I'm pulling, as I'm sharing my screen for your vision board for last year. Oh my gosh. I can't even remember how to share the screen. There we go. Um, for your vision board for last year, did, did things come to pass? Like, did that happen for you? Like tell us one, one goal. This would be good to know. Tell us a goal from 2020 is put 2020 and then colon, and then something that was on your board. If you had one, that really did happen. Okay. Like something that just came to be, you had it as a vision. It was part of your vision and it came to be, I'm going to show you mine and some things just like, wow, knocked it out of the park. You know, the vision was there and some things let's just say my vision was not, not 2020. My vision was not 2020 in 2020 when I made the board, but God is good. Life is beautiful. We're about to crush 2021. Okay. So on Canva, if you don't have Canva already, hopefully you can see this. Okay. When you go into canva.com, this is a free software. I do have the paid version. And so if there's anything that you see that you're like, Oh, I didn't have that feature. It may be that, but I think I'm going to show you pretty basic stuff where you shouldn't really need the paid version at all. Um, so canva.com create an account, and then you're going to go to create a design. Okay. And for the purposes of the digital vision board, I want you to just pull up a, uh, desktop. I think it's called desktop, desktop wallpaper. Okay. Desktop wallpaper. It gives you the dimensions, but you know, you'll know that once you save this to your computer, to your desktop as an image, it will be the proper size so that it won't, you'll be able to see everything on your board on your desktop. It's really cool. I really love it. Especially if you're some like a real visual person, this can be really powerful. So that's what you do. And then you would just 
you can title it whatever you want. I think what would be really appropriate would be 2021 um, vision board. Very creative, extremely creative. <laughs> Hence why I have to do things on a on Canva. But anyways, if you're more more visually inclined and artsy, do a paper one too. I know they're super powerful, but this is very convenient. Okay. Um, so, and then you want to think of like categories for your board. So I'm going to show you mine and kind of what it looks like, but I feel like it's powerful to, you want to think about your business goals. You want to think about your financial goals, things like that, your vision, of course. Um, but like I said, you want to think about family relationships, um, your, your health, you know, I, books you want to read. I personally, I'm very, very driven by words. Um, if you've ever done like the love languages, five, 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 love, five or seven, five love languages. Um, my like only one, the only one that registers for me is words of affirmation. So words are really big for me, writing them, reading them, like it's very, very powerful for me. And so you'll see that reflected in my board. So if that's you too, but yours may be more visual. It may be all images that you've saved. Okay. So let me show you mine really quick. And then I'm going to show you how I did these things. Okay. So that's my new one. Let me get to my old one. So this is the cool thing about, okay. So here is my 20, 20 board. So 2020 vision. This is the one that I made last year. In fact, if I scroll here, I think this is the one from, yes, this was 2019. I had switched it up and then I made a copy of it for 2020. So here's my board for 2020. Some of this definitely came to pass. Some of it definitely did not, um, which is interesting to go back and look at, huh? Okay. Like where was my focus? And were those the things that came to pass or where did I just, where was I in denial? Where was I in denial about reality and just so many different things. I have loved analyzing my board, but anyway, let's talk about the technical aspect. So the cool thing about this is when I wanted to go and then create and adjust my vision going into this year, all I had to do is go up to this little, uh, see this little duplicate page icon, duplicate page. And it gave me a second one. So I didn't necessarily have to recreate the entire thing. I just had to swap things out. I changed up the verbiage here. I kept this the past two years and I'm still keeping it, but I'm shifting it a little bit and I changed things up. Okay. So it's kind of nice because even if you're like, eek, halfway through the year, like something crazy happened, but I still want to have my vision, but I really want to adjust this one thing. You can duplicate it and you can change things around, but not lose your, lose the past. Right. And how cool would this be to have like 10 years of digital vision boards in one place where you can scroll and see, Oh my gosh, like that was on my digital vision board, um, in Canva like five years ago. And now it's come to pass. I just think this is really cool to have on hand. Whereas I think with my physical vision boards, I don't think I have any of them. I just don't like, they're not here. Like I probably threw them away after the year or whatever not a great idea, but that's what happened. Um, okay. 2020 I put, um, okay. yes. Um, Christina, you can do this using Canva on your phone. It's a little more difficult. I'm going to show you just on, um, how I did some of this when it comes to, um, desktop, but yeah, you could totally do it on the Canva app. That's a really good point. Okay. So here's mine for this year. I just duplicated and I switched out some things. Okay. So here's, there's a couple ways you can do this. So for me, I love like quotes, inspirational quotes, right? And so what you can do, and you can do this on your phone on the Pinterest app or Google or on your desktop. So what I like to do is to say, I want a, um, inspiration, uh, a quote about boundaries. Okay. Boundaries for me is something I really want to, um, get really strong with boundaries in business, boundaries in life, um, knowing my boundaries and setting those for myself so that I can be my best for my clients, for my daughter in the world, for you guys, like it's huge. So you can see tons of boundaries quotes. So say I was like, Ooh, okay. Well, yeah. Like this one's really, actually this one's on my board. So ooh, yeah, that, that one's like hitting me. You can, again, you can screenshot this if you're on your phone or what I do is in fact, I think this one I clicked through. Yeah, I did. I clicked through. And 
And again, you could totally do this on the phone. You just, you know, however you screenshot on your phone for me with the 12 now, it's just the two side buttons. So this one, I just, you can either save the image. So I'm just gonna right click, save the image, or um, if you're on a Mac, you can do shift command four and you can like screenshot whatever you want. Okay. Then you could go back over to your board and I'm gonna show you in my example one right here. And you go over to upload, upload media, upload from my device. Uh, same thing on your phone, except it will uh, give you an option to upload from your camera roll, which is what you'd want to do. So then if I had a bunch of these things, I could just drop them in. These are all on my desktop from doing this um, in the last day or so. And then you can just start dropping things in and you can fill up your whole board. You can have no white space. You can have like a background if you want to change this to like, here's my brand color. So one of the things on Canva, if you have a, um, a paid account, I did it for the brand, the brand colors. You can just add your brand colors. You don't have to keep typing in the hex codes and stuff like that. So say I wanted my background to be this, this pink. All right. So I can go to uploads. I can just click these on here. I can shift them around. I can shrink them. I can crop them. I can, you know, shift them around. I can make it look however I want. So you can do this with images. You can do it with words. So say words really resonate with you. And that's something you have a, um, a word of the year. I definitely think if you have a word of the year, if you don't think about it, pray about it, meditate on it and see if something comes to you to kind of cover over your whole year. I think I shared in here, but I'm not sure. Did I share with you guys my word of the year? I don't know if I did. Um, Canva keeps telling me the saving error. Uh, refresh, refresh your, um, refresh your page. I know sometimes if I've ever started a document, sometimes it goes to the old editor. Try that and see if that works. Destiny. Um, what was I going to tell you? Mm. Oh, word of the year. So a word of the year to kind of cover over everything And mine for this year is trust. And so I definitely included trust. So you might want to include your word of the year. You can just add your own text. You can change the fonts. So word of the year, that might be cool to ugh, word of the yes, sir. Word of the year might be really cool to have in the middle. I don't know. I mean, you can do this however you want. If you're looking for, like, uh, you, you'll see, I've been talking about this whole idea of a lemonade stand. So I put a little picture of myself in a lemonade stand with um, in Paris. Let me see if I can, can I show you this bigger? Uh, apparently not. Let me see. Okay. So um, empower other women entrepreneurs. So that's me setting up my lemonade stand. And yes, I want to do that through my courses, through my coaching, through this free group, uh, through my content. Like that's really what I'm going to be all about in 2021. Truly, um, I'm really on a mission to do that. But that's really more more than just business wise. You know, um, my target audience obviously is female online entrepreneurs who are, you know, marketing themselves or products online, but, um, we're all women. A lot of us are moms and empowering women, empower women. So that's why I'm or empowered women, empower women. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I showed you here this help 50 clients launch their first corch cor corch. You want to launch a corch? Buy my, co buy my course. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Add, to add an additional stream of income in addition to network marketing or other things that they're marketing, um, spiritual growth. So you might want to think about like spiritual as a category, like where, you know, is that something that you want to develop? Um, this down here is kind of like personal development. So you might want to think about like your personal development. I want to finish that. I, I put this last year and I think I finished 15 personal development books. A lot of them ended up being about one particular topic and it definitely was personally developing, but there were also, there were also things I invested in personal development wise that weren't on here that were hugely impactful that now, you know, I mean, things change. So down here for me, anyway, this is my personal development as far as like fitness, best version of myself, focusing on self love, truly self love, because if I don't do that for myself, then how am I going to truly and authentically um, be able to really love other people at my best, including my daughter? So this is huge for me anyway. Boundaries, that's like kind of this whole area. 
hustling for a higher purpose. Um, here is, you know, my daughter and I with hearts. Obviously, that's changed since last year. But, you know, presence, which I think I spelled wrong. Presence, content, contentment, I should say. Contentment fun and home because obviously I'm going to be making a new home um, physically and proverbially with my daughter. And so those are the things, the, this is the main thing I do want to focus on. Um, and then business wise, I'm just kind of, I went off topic, but I'm just kind of telling you guys, and hopefully this is giving you some inspo for like different things that you might want to include in yours. Um, obviously down here, my team, my amazing social retail team, shout out to Elevate Nation. So many of you all are in this group, um, but definitely a goal for us as a team. I would like us to be an elite one team. I think we're going to knock that out of the park within a year. We will. Um, but I definitely want us to be an elite team by title. We already are, but I, I put that down there and obviously doing that means that I am helping other women achieve their goals. So that goes with my larger vision. So I put that on there. I just put it on there, putting down the universe, elite social retail team. Here we go. And then for my brand, um, what I really want to work on this year. So last year, um, you can see I switched this up. I had 20 uh, to create a 21 hour work week and the income that I needed to be making. And I did that, uh, have my work, down to about 20 hours, sometimes less, sometimes a little more, but on average, definitely, I could say 21 hour work week is what I have going on, uh, financially independent, praise the Lord. Um, but part of that was because I did, I did develop a signature course and I did develop four or more, um, mini or live workshop courses. Uh, I don't think I quite got to 30,000 blog sessions on Taylor made mama, but I dropped the focus on that. And so I, I know why that is, but anyway, so that did come to be, um, which is a huge blessing, but I think in looking back, see, this is why it's cool. Now I can see so clearly why my vision is the way that it is. As I prayed about it, as I thought about it, because now I'm ready to set up that lemonade stand. I'm ready. I'm like, this work, this changed my life, like literally changed my life and so many things. And I am about, um, you know, giving the mind, giving the empowerment, the mindset, the self love, the, um, the financial, like, what did I do? Like, what did I do? So I'm about helping other women this year to do that who are ready. And that's part of their course and their vision. So I'm excited. I love, I love this stuff. You guys, it's so cool to see how God works and how things end up. Like if you're following along, what what the path is that's meant for you, like how things start unfolding, right? The people that you meet, the, the accounts you come across, like connections you make on social media, people who join your team or, um, it, so many things like align. Uh, it's very amazing to see. And I feel like the visual of a vision board can help you to track that. Um, so anyway, and then, so for me, anyways, so for my brand, I really want to create an evergreen course funnel. And I think I'm going to do that with low tech launch. I very much believe in that product. I'm like kind of obsessed, like low key or like high key obsessed with that product. And so I would like to put the time in and create in, uh, an evergreen course funnel with that particular course, because I think it's so beneficial to so many people and it's a really good price point for that type of thing. And I would like for that to be this year generating, um, one to two, I should put one to 3000 a month additional. Um, we'll see how that goes, but that's definitely a goal. That's a, I want that to be a passive product after, I initially launch it. So anyways, I'm really excited about this this year. Let me show you how I got some of these graphics so that you can do this type of thing on your own. So I showed you how to do like the screen grab, right? But if you wanted to do like, okay, so that lemonade stand, I went to elements and then you can just search if you're like, mm, I really want uh, a computer screen so I can, you know, computer screen. And then you can pretty much find anything you want. You can actually find photos in Canva too. They've got tons of stock photos now, like a ton more than they used to. So you can add, um, things like this. You want a color on, on my notes? Uh, okay. I need all the color over your notes. Okay. 
Can I see one thing though? Cause I don't know what I was going to say at the very end. Let me just look at this. She's taking my, she's taking my show notes. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I realize you guys, I'm not on the screen. Am I? It's so funny. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Taylor. I thought I was on the screen, bub. <laughs> Here's Taylor. I have not been on the screen the whole time. That's hilarious. Okay. Taylor, say hello. Say hello to the ladies. Hello. <laughs> She's going to color on my notes. Okay. You've been such a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Take the pens. What did that say? What? That? Huh. That's a, a note that you wrote for me that Grammy wrote. Dear Mommy. Remember you wrote that one? Yeah. Okay. Mom. Go sit down. You can go color. Tay Tay. Okay. Well, we might, hold on, let me see if I can get, I wanted to still be on the screen. Okay, I might have to get off here. Let me show you. At least I have the closed captions. Okay, I thought I could have it where I was kind of in the corner, but maybe not. I'm usually on Zoom doing that. Here you go, bud. I need a little pee pee. Oh, okay. thanks for telling us all. All 900, all 900 of my friends will love to hear that you have to go pee pee. You're not on the camera anymore. I need to go pee pee. Okay, Taylor, stop, please, <laughs> All right, let me look at my questions real quick. I missed the beginning when we set up. Do we, oh, use, no, use a desktop. Christina, it's, if someone can type this in, use desktop uh, wallpaper, desktop wallpaper. Okay, so then you're going to put in, you can put in any images that you want. If you wanted to do photos, like say you, oh, maybe vacation. If you want to go on a vacation and you're hoping that we'll be able to go on vacation. So maybe you want to type in, you know, Hawaii. And you can always do this on Google too, but there's, there's a great picture. You could do that as your backdrop. I mean, you can literally like go crazy with this, but I just like it cause you can resize it and everything like that. Okay, Taylor, Taylor, I'm doing it. I'm doing a video for work right now. Okay. Can you please go do, can you either color or do your veggie tails? Taylor, you're not on camera right now, but thank you. You're being such a good girl. Do you want my paper? Yeah. Okay. Or you can use the whiteboard. Okay. So anyway, I really like that you can change the sizes, which if you have an actual like physical board, you cannot. Okay. I might have to cut this off cut this shorter than I thought guys, but, um, and you can overlap things. You can, if you have a paid account, you can like delete the background of stuff. I'm not going to get too into that. So anyway, you can really go crazy with this. You, if you can't find what you're looking for in, um, in the photos here, you can always go to Google and you can Google and you can screenshot or save images if that makes sense. So let me see if there's any other questions before I show you how to save this and resize it. Okay. So let me know while, while we're doing this, let me know what's something that you're going to put on your board, something, I mean, shout it out. Let us know what's something that is going on your board while for 2021 while, while I'm doing this, I'm going to download, let's download the one I just did here. Okay. So if I was going to download this one and I think I have this the right size, I should, is it okay? So I'm going to download page one. And do, 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 do. All right, download, and then if you drag it to your desktop, I did this earlier. Okay, I should be able to right click set desktop picture. And it should set as my desktop picture, but it's not doing it. Uh, well, set desktop picture. Okay. Well that should work. I don't know if it's, hold on. Let me see if I'm, if I go to my second desktop, if that will work. Oh, no, I don't know. Okay. So anyway, normally that works. It doesn't stay blue. I just updated my computer. So maybe that's it, but let me show you how to resize this. Not really quick. You guys.
Okay. Oh my gosh, if only you guys could see what's going on right now. <laughs> okay. So let me um let me show you how to resize this. So and then I'm gonna get <laughs> going to get off. Um we're going to resize. And then what I did was, what did I save this as? Oh no, you know what? I actually just saved this and I sent it to my phone, but say you wanted to, um, let me see if they have a phone wallpaper. That would be cool. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Copy and resize. Oh, this is so cool. Let's see how that looks. You might have to shift things around depending on how it saves it, but that could be really cool if it creates more of a, um, a larger version. I don't know. Can I please have a piece of paper? Uh, sure. You can get one out of the, that box right there. The mommy's printer paper. You see it? Yeah. Can you use that? Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't like how that really turned out. So what I would recommend that you do, I mean, you could do that and you could like, you know, I don't know, you could shift things around and make them bigger and larger, um, and that would really fit your phone. But... I need some tape. Okay. I'll get some tape. Okay, go ahead. Stairs. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, I think that's about all I wanted to say. I'm definitely going to have to hop off. Let me, let me come back on here real quick, you guys. Um, Let me know if you have any questions. I hope that was helpful. I had so much fun making mine. And honestly, I think the value in it is truly just being able to scroll back and look at your old boards and, and readjust them. Like it took me to update mine because I had saved a few things and I knew things I wanted to tweak. It took me like five minutes to update. There is something to be said about the process of like, you know, actually doing craft time and like doing that whole thing. But this is so simple. You could even do both very, you could do this very quickly, especially if you already have your template. So I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if there are any questions, if you're watching by replay, um, let me know. I am going to, let me just scroll through. I'm just going to scroll through and like do one of these things and then just stop and see and stop and then do the giveaway that way. In fact, let's do two, I'll do two of the desktop, um, calendars, and then I will come up with a good giveaway item for those of you who want to share. If someone can type this in the comments, if some, if you, want to share your digital vision board. Um, in fact, like I'm going to, can I do it right here? Like I'm about to do now. Oh, it's not going to let me, I'll do it afterwards. If you want to share your digital vision board, that will count as an entry toward a giveaway for, um, let's do what you help me open this. Can you say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. I'm trying to make a headband that says Justin loves mommy. Oh, uh, the, you know, the famous YouTuber. He's Justin! Uh, years old. She's. <laughs> okay, see? I'm almost done by your day. So Mom was a vampire. So we, we now know that 30 minutes is the maximum acti quiet activity time. That So these lives will never be longer than 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to be fans. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, drop your vision boards by Friday in the comments of this live. And we'll do a, let's do a $50 Amazon oh. gift card. That's something I would love. Hopefully you guys will love that too. You $50 love Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, this is not, Taylor, is this kind? Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, is this kind? Bye, Taylor fans. Okay. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you had fun with this. Uh, let me choose two winners. Okay, Taylor. Winners oh. are Taylor. Okay, I'm going to have to do it afterwards because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're saying you're so cute. Well, I'm going to have a little something different to say about uh, what that was afterward. Oh my gosh, no, she really did a good job. That, she sat there for a long time watching Veggie Tales, and Veggie Tales isn't that entertaining. So, um, anyways, I'm going to have to. I thought I could scroll through this, but it's not really fair because it's only letting me see like the last five comments. And so that wouldn't be super fair. So I'm going to scroll through and choose two people. Hope you, tr you trust me to be super random about it. And then um, those two will be the winners of the desk top or yeah, desktop, you are a badass 2021.
calendars. So thank you guys for your time. If you're in Intentional Influencer Society, we are going to have our Q&A at 6. I might be a couple minutes late, but um, yeah, hop on over there and we'll do our um, Q&A. That's the membership community for those of you who are like, what? What is that? But if you know, you know, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, you guys.